Hello friends, this is a Dolphin Online Data Recovery Training video, section 8. Within this video, you will find out how to recover lost data from drives with logical failure or bad factor failure. Okay, now let's watch the video. So above, uh, the second factor they talk about the firmware factor. The first factor is the physical factor and the second is the firmware factor. So it's easy? Yes, if you know the way, if you understand this, it's easy. Data recovery is not a secret anymore. So besides the physical factor, besides the firmware factor, and the third factor affect data recovery is the logical factor. Logical. So what are logical cases? The not cases contains the accidental deletion format to the various deletion or bad sectors. These cases are usually very easy. You just need to connect it to our DFDDP or DFDE, then the data can be seen. Or you just need to scan most partitions. And then or DDP or DE can list the partitions, folders, and files. It's very easy for this kind of cases. Here, I want to explain to you about bad sectors because it's very, very common in our daily jobs. But one thing is very important. How do, you know, how to recover successfully drives with many bad sectors? Many people say if your hard uh, if my drives uh, with a lot of bad sectors, bad sectors can be recovered, and some people told them yes, no, well, it's not that simple, not that simple, because you must firstly find out what kind of bad sectors your hard drive have. The first one is logical logical bad sectors. This one is the easiest one. You can use DDP to extract the file directly. The, third, the second one is the firmware bad sectors. So what, what are firmware bad sectors? Like your defectionist, like your genist, your pillist, your genist overflow, your genist cannot contain so many bad sectors. Then it overflow. It comes to your drive, you will find a lot of maybe full disk bad sectors. Or if the translator module damage or some other important module damage, especially about the head adaptive modules, this will also cause full disk bad sectors. So at this time, you need to fix this kind of firmware modules. Yeah, these modules are stored on the platters. Do you remember? Yeah, we just talked about this. So you fix these modules, and then the bad sectors will be gone. So for this kind of firmware bad sectors, you can use our DFL FRP to remove them by fixing the firmware modules. So the third bad sector type is the physical bad sector. So, what are the physical bad sectors? These sectors are usually caused by the weak head or single head damage or head contamination or scratched platters. Yeah, this, this one can cause a lot of bad sectors. So it's very important you, you understand the bad sector type. If you have experience or if you, when you do more and more cases, practice on more and more cases, 
you, you pay attention, please pay attention to the working sounds, the sounds generated by the drives. Normal drives, tension drives, clinking drives, different clinking, like head stitching, head scrapping the platters. Yeah, they are different. And we have one folder about different head clinking noises. If after you are able to join our technology, uh, our technic support forum, we will put the folder, the head clinking folder into the forum. You can download and listen to it. Different clinking. They are different. So you just listen to it, then you will know if this case is head problem or this case is firmware problem. Yeah, experience, remember, is very important. But you must pay attention to it. Some, you know, some clients, they, they just, you know, uh, get cases, fix the cases, contact our remote, and they never pay attention to this. So they will never understand what are the real problem before, behind these drives. So here I just uh, list the solutions. If the bad sectors are caused by firmware, then you use the firmware repair tool, the FRP to repair the firmware finish, and then use the DDP to recover data. If the bad sectors are caused by the physical damage, like the weak head, because after a long time use, the head becomes weak, then it cannot read the platters properly, then it causes bad factors. At this time, you need to, you know, swap the head. It's easy. And then you, after swap the head, then you use the DDP to recover the data. So above are the three factors which will affect whether and how you can recover the lost data from the patient hard drives. So if you are familiar with the firmware, the physical, and the logical factors, these three factors, then it's easy for you to find the right solution. So, for physical factor, firmware factor, logic factor, I have told you about different factors and what are the causes, what are the solutions, how to understand them. So, this is the data recovery mind. You must have this mind. So if you want to start your data recovery business seriously, my suggested package would be this one. Why I haven't suggested as a DDP, FRP, DE? Because the DFSRP USB 3 all-in-one data recovery equipment replaced them. Users don't need to multiple tools anymore. Users just need this one and it can replace the all in one. It can replace the this is the DDP. This is the FRP functions. So the SRP all in one data recovery equipment have combined all functions into one hardware. So this is the best choice. The DFSRP USB 3 all-in-one data recovery equipment is the best choice. And also the head tools. Okay. So thank you for, for watching this video. And we hope 
everybody can achieve a big success in data recovery field.